Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Did you guys know that Lego floats? Why, yes it does. And it's plastic, so it's a good thing that with all of this flooding that we had, our Lego packages that uh, our neighbors showed us a picture of floating around this huge, gigantic puddle in our driveway, were able to be rescued. And we're gonna take a look inside and uh, see if there was any damage or what have you to what, um, what was kind of hanging out and then some of the rest of the stuff that we got in this week. So uh, make sure to give us a like, make sure to subscribe and follow along with these epic Lego adventures. Hey friends, Sarah here. Welcome back to another video and I'm calling this the Great Flood Hall of Summer 2021. So it's not like crazy, but we did have a lot of flooding over the weekend and our neighbors sent us a picture, which I'll make sure to include here for you, uh, sort of a big, um, a big lake that had formed outside of our back door and our garage. And then I noticed in it that there were packages floating, uh, specifically this one right here and this one right here. Luckily, these other ones had been brought in by our cat sitter um, when she came over. But yes, there were Lego floating in the water. And I'm like, I called my friend and I'm like, please go get that. I know Lego floats and I don't want to float away as is some other things of ours that were out by the door had floated into the wood line. So this is called the flood hall and I have not looked at the contents of these packages yet. So I'm really curious as to um, what I ordered <laughs> first off, because I can't remember everything that I've ordered. Um, this is like only half of what is in the mail coming. Uh, so we, we're gonna just dig in and see. I did kind of rip the tape off because I know you guys uh, hate watching me try to unbox things because I never bring a knife or scissors with me. So let's just take a quick look and see what's inside, see what my plans are, and then uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way so that you can see it when I open it. I mean, look at this, this is like, <laughs> if, if that's not an indication of like water damage, I'm not sure what is. This is definitely one that was just kind of floating around out there. Um, but the things that are in these boxes actually look pretty good. Oh, look, there's water. Oh my goodness, if you could only see the uh, table here, I'm gonna have to, have to like wipe it down. There's actually water and dirt falling out of this package, which is awesome. <laughs> Luckily, Lego is plastic, right? So let me uh, let me put the camera down a little bit just so that you guys can join in the fun here with the water and the dirt. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, a little bit better angle. Sorry, I'm kind of half in, half out. I can crouch down. I can hug my Lego packages. Um, but really we want to see what's inside and the table is all wet right here. I didn't even think after all this time, uh, it's been a couple days that it would still be wet. But let's dig into this one. As you can see, this looks pretty gross. I'm thinking this is from Bricklink and there's just a lot of bricks in here. Um, I did not pre-open this one because it already looked like it was kind of open. Oh, look at the mess. My goodness. rip at this since it's pretty much like falling apart anyway. Oh, hey, it's in a garbage bag. <laughs> How, um... All right, guys, the garbage bag is wet and gross. Um, oh gosh, it is so wet. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can like see the water like running off of it. That is totally, totally the flood. The great flood. So we have like monsoon like rains and we have a drain that is supposed to stop the water from coming down towards the house. But our neighbor also took a picture of the drain, which I'll add, uh, which was completely inundated. It couldn't keep up with it. So it was like a big pond there, which was overflowing down the driveway into our house. Luckily there was no real damage in our backlog, uh, which is in the basement of course, um, is really fine. So, okay guys, so I won't like, count every piece for you, but I think this is something like um, 800, oh, where's the camera? 800 four by four plates for all my meals. 
Uh, so this could be wet. It's perfectly fine. No box. Um, so lucky for us on that one. But I think, I think guys, I need like, I'm gonna use my sleeve because I literally have to wipe the water. Oh, it's very wet and cold. <laughs> I have to wipe the water off or else I am gonna ruin the boxes like it's all wet. <laughs> all right guys, so this was the other box that was floating around with it. So I know that um, this is actually a Lego set in here in a box. And I don't think it was floating too long because I, I got the message that the boxes were delivered in the morning. Um, and then clearly I'm sure the postman didn't like set it adrift in the puddle. So I know that they didn't sit for too long. Oh, this one's actually, so I think this is also from eBay, even though this is Amazon. And it's actually wrapped in another plastic bag. Holy cow. So actually the box inside really like survived really well. Way better than that other one did. But look, this is actually inside another bag. That is fantastic, guys. Like, I've never seen that. Um, oh, look at it. Thank you. It says thank you. And, oh, Pom Pow. We hope you enjoy your Pom Pow purchase. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us. We promise to do everything we can to make you 100% happy. We are a hardworking young family who loves selling on eBay. Not a large corporation, thanks again. Meanwhile, don't forget to leave a positive feedback. Well, totally. Oh my God, I love this little card. This is so cute. And I got this for a fantastic deal. I wouldn't even care if the box was wet or not. You guys have probably all, you guys have all seen this before. Like this is not like a, a crazy set, but it is retired now. It's 40305. And I did see it in the store and was like, oh, I don't need this. I don't need this. Then the set retires and I'm like, I needed it. Why didn't I get it? So I actually have another one of these somewhere out in the mail world. Um, and I am going to do, of course, a mucky muck muck, a remock of this into more of a modular style for our uh, new custom city that's coming up. So I'm really excited to have this. And I have it at a great price. I've been kind of watching it, like trying not to overpay for it because I feel like the price is kind of all over the place from like $30 to like $60 for this plus shipping. So this one, I think I got them both. I got two and I think they averaged like, one was 28 and one was like 32 or something like that, which I feel like is perfectly fine. Um, so I'm really excited to uh, muck this up very soon. So the other ones were not water damaged, thankfully. They are bigger sets, but again, I'm not keeping the boxes. I don't know, do you keep the boxes? Let me know in the comments. I am not keeping these boxes, so I guess if it was water damaged, that would be okay. Uh, so first one, oh, this is my double uh, VIP purchase. Um, it's one of them. I actually bought three different orders for VIP just because I really wanted more of the shoes. I'm gonna do something really, really fun with the shoes. So I got some shoes, okay? I got the shoe and good thing like I'm not interested in like, like investing <laughs> because this is the shoe I got. Uh, thanks Lego. But, oh, and look at this, this box is, oh, the, the whole, the outside of the box was pretty damaged. So uh, I'm glad I'm not investing this one as well, Lego. Cause this is from lego.com guys. Um, that is a bad box. This is a super, super damaged box. Um, Spring Lantern Festival. You guys have probably seen this. I already have it. I bought this on double VIP because I want to use it for a really cool mock for like a, a, a the noodle house to go with the Pigsy's noodle tank, which I don't have over here. Um, but I got the got the panda guy here so I want to do something really cool and I wanted more of the Chinese elements and I have this one already built and didn't want to take it apart so I'm going to probably take bits and pieces from this one especially since this box is clearly not an investment box but um, if I have a chance in the future I will probably purchase one maybe I'll have to go to the store to get it because um, this I think these are a really good investment set so there's that all right, one more set, guys. One more set. I'm really excited for this one. This is another one. Like, oh, I don't want that. Like, 
I don't like the, the theme, I don't want the theme, I don't, I don't need that. It went on like super sale. Um, and I was like, eh, what am I gonna do with that? What? Whenever I say that to myself, it probably means there is something I'm going to do with it versus any other set I could buy. So I need to think twice. Like I really need to think. And now that I'm doing more mocks, I'm kind of looking at sets in a whole different way. Um, we're gonna be moving our city to a less traditional type of city, something more unique and exciting. And uh, you know, my son's even getting really excited about it. So it's gonna be filled with um, our own stuff and like a lot of different stuff. So of course, <laughs> when I could have gotten this one on sale, I didn't, but, but let's take a look. I still got it for a really, really good price. So guys, like save your searches on eBay. Um, you never know when you're gonna find something for a really good price. And if you're not in a real hurry to purchase it, you know, right away, you can kind of see how the pricing goes and, and see if it's, go, if it's starting to trend up, maybe you better grab something now, or if you're seeing some fluctuation, just kind of wait it out. And that's what I did because at first I was looking at some that were $50, $55. I'm like, eh, I don't really want to buy that. And then I was looking at used ones and I'm like, eh, I don't really want to use one either. So then this one popped up and it was like 30 bucks. So I'm like, score, I need that. And here it is. I like was so uninterested in this hidden side line because I just didn't see past um, the, the uh, whatever the concept was with the phone and and actually my, my son will probably have to, to try it out before we go too far with this. So I do have some other hidden side sets on my wanted list right now um, for some mocks and things, but this is the Shrimp Shack Attack set number 70422. And I'm really excited because I think that this will make a very fun mock and my family loves to go and eat seafood. My son loves shrimp. He actually said, can we get a crab going too? So I'm sure I think there's a, like a three in one crab. I'm pretty sure we can make a crab happen with the shrimp shack and it can be a shrimp shack crab attack kind of deal. But I think this is gonna be really cool to mock up. And I'm kind of interested just to, to check out the line. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's crazy. All right guys, so that is the Holly Hall Hall for today. The flood hall, the great flood of summer 2021. Hopefully that does not happen again. Um, it's pretty much dissipated now. It's taken a few days to evaporate and, and recede. And so we've got a shrimp shack, we've got a Chinese New Year, we have a Lego store, and we've got my favorite little shoe. So I am super excited to get building and we will see you in the next video. Bye for now.